job, he became extremely obsessive over her, that's what she wanted, and um, to the point where he was stalking her, he started beating her up due to his jealousy, yeah, so be careful with- Wrap it the fuck up. Wrap it the fuck up. Why do y'all do this? Why do y'all do this to yourselves? What's good? What's good in the YouTube hood? I am back with another video for you guys because you guys flooded my comment section to let me know y'all ass is one of the part two. So let's do it. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Luna and I am a hoodoo spiritualist and tarot reader. I have found, because of course I went down the rabbit hole for you guys. All right, I have found 15 more videos. So we are going to go over 15 more love spells gone wrong. All right. Some of these videos are a little bit shorter. Some of these videos are a little bit longer. But best believe, I'm going to educate you behind each one because that's what you guys this is here for. I'm going to talk you through it. Now, this first creator is telling a story of a friend of hers. All right. So this is not her personal story, but she's telling a story of someone that she knows. And she definitely goes into depth about how this woman met this man at her job. Right. Because we all know how it is when we meet a man at our job. There's a reason why they say you don't mix personal with business, all right? But let's just say she did. And she did it in the worst way. Like I said, I'm going to talk you through it. Because I've noticed, yeah, it's become real popular. Everybody's wanting to get into doing brujeria and spells and all this other shit. But ain't nobody educating y'all behind this. They're just giving you ingredients to mix together. They're giving you candles to go and light and oils to put with it. But they're not telling you what the hell's going to happen behind it. I'm going to tell you, though. Because I don't get keep over here unless it's a closed culture or practice. We respect closed cultures and practices. Yeah. Y'all imagine casting a love spell on a fucking narcissist and this man end up unaliving you. So y'all, I'm finna give y'all a story time on how this girl end up losing her life all because she wanted this man to fall in love with her. So first thing first, they worked at the same facility together or whatever. And the girl had just started, I think the man, he was there for like probably two or three years or whatever. So when she came... She, they placed her in the, part, in the department uh, with him or whatever. So I guess he was her like trainer. That, uh, they was like machine operators or whatever. So he was her trainer. He was showing her how to do the uh, ropes and stuff like that to work in a machine. So, you know, as time go on, you know what I'm saying, they chilling. Y'all know how it is when you in a set with a man and stuff like that. And then you end up talking to the man and yada, 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 and it go from there. But from the get-go, I don't think the man was looking for no relationship. And I don't think the girl was looking for no relationship either. But somehow she ended up catching feelings for him and he was only trying to... So... After months and months of them talking or whatever, she came to him and she was just like, you know, I want to pursue a relationship. Like, where we stand at this point? Because we've been talking for a long time. We done messed around. You know, we did that. We did that. So, like, what's up? So, I don't think he was feeling a relationship. I think he was, like, in and out with his baby mama or whatever situation he had going on on the side. But I know he wasn't really into her. He was just trying to mess around with the girl. And then, y'all, he used to try to, like, manipulate this girl. He used to, like, lead her on, love bomb her. You know, it was always one-sided with him. So she was just like, enough is enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of playing games with you. So she laid her foot down. Basically, she was just like, you know, it is what it is. If we're going to be together, we're going to be together. We're not, then just leave me the fuck alone. But somehow, I don't know, this girl could not fucking get over him. And then what's so crazy is this man knew that this girl felt some type of way. And he just wouldn't leave her alone for shit. Like, if you don't like the girl, you don't want to fuck with the girl, why you want to just leave her alone? That's what I didn't understand. So then, y'all, they stopped talking for like a minute. Probably like, I ain't going to say a minute. They probably stopped talking for like a week or two. And they working in the same set, but they wasn't talking. Like, at this point, she know what she doing and stuff like that. So she don't have to talk to him. So, you know, somehow they end up talking. I think he end up texting her or whatever. I don't know. But somehow they end up talking, start back talking or whatever. And, you know, it was like on, a, on the same shit. Like, it's like they never fucking left off. The, the conversation picked up as if they never got into it. They never had the conversation about her trying to pursue a relationship. None of that. They just picked up where it left off. And she never did bring it back up or nothing like that for a long time. So then months and months go by. They back messing around. They back, you know, flirting and all this other stuff. And then she brings up that she want a relationship again. And he just like at this point, like, you know, I'm tired of you sitting up here every every few weeks or whatever you bring up relationship and all this stuff like that but he never did come direct and say i don't want no relationship he never did say you know i don't i don't look at you like that he never did say none of that he left that he led that girl on the whole time thinking that okay it's a possible chance that we can be together but he never did tell her like he was he was indirect y'all know how narcissist is so y'all as time going on or whatever you know um she was just like okay you know they had started like i don't know it's like they would talk they would talk and stuff like that and they would get into it about the smallest shit and i just feel like sis if y'all get into it about the smallest shit that should tell you this man is not for you like god is not gonna force nothing at all but obviously she wanted to force it 
So they stopped talking for like a month. They stopped talking for like a month. But she couldn't get over this man for nothing. She kept thinking about him, you know. And it's kind of hard when you working with this person, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of understand that point. But she working with the man side by side every day. She have to look at this man that she didn't feel in love with. And this man don't look at her the same. After he done strung her along, he done love bumped her. He done told her this, told her that. And now, y'all at this point. So y'all, one day, I don't know, something came across her news feed where it was like, I don't know, y'all know when y'all in a, a broken hearted relationship and all this other shit that's like relatable to your situation start showing up on your news feed, whether it's Facebook, TikTok, whatever it is, it starts showing up on your news feed. She came across this little love spell, you know, how to get your man and all that. And maybe she was Googling this shit. She probably was Googling this shit. I wouldn't be surprised if she wasn't. So y'all, this girl started doing her research on love spells. She was like, um, trying to see like, you know, what could happen, you know, how crazy would people go behind a love spell. She just started doing her research, her research about love spells or whatever. She got on TikTok. I think she watched a couple videos. I think I know she watched a couple videos because a couple of them she shared. So she started watching videos about, you know, the love spell and all this stuff like that. And y'all, every video that I saw that that girl had watched or she shared or whatever, y'all, they was basically saying, like, don't do that. Uh, people have unalived the ne the other day partner and this and that. You know, it's not that serious, all this stuff like that. But the girl was curious. She was curious as hell. That's why y'all got to be careful what the fuck y'all do and who the fuck y'all trying to attach to y'all. Because, baby, this shit is not no damn joke. But anyways, so... She ended up doing it, y'all. She ended up doing it one night, and I think she was like, she didn't have no results uh, the second the second or third night or whatever. Like, a few nights, she didn't have no results or whatever. So, so she was just like, fuck it. You know, she didn't believe in it. But then this man texted her out the blue. He texted her out the blue, and he was just like, I miss you. And he usually didn't text that, so she was like, damn, okay, you know. He, he you know, she didn't really think of the love spell either, y'all. She, she thought that it was just like a coincidence or some shit. Like, he just, you know... He just texted her because, like I said, y'all, they was on and off all the time. So, she just looked at it like it was a normal routine with him. So, y'all, you know, they talking, everything going smooth and stuff like that, you know, for like a week or two. And then he just got to accuse her. Like I said, they work in the same, um, they work at the same facility or whatever. So, he got to accusing her. Like, every time she would talk to another guy or whatever or somebody would say hey to her, he was like, damn, you in everybody's face. Like, he would just, like, make little smart-ass comments. But he wasn't really just throwing himself out there to show that he's, like... Like he's like he's jealous or something. I don't know. There's probably another terminology I could have used, but yeah, y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. But anyways, she was like explaining to him. She was like, you know, she kind of like, why are you checking me? You ain't even my dude. Then when I tried to ask you about a relationship and stuff like that, you didn't even want a relationship and all this stuff like that. Mind y'all, I don't think this girl realized that that love spell that she put on that man, it actually freaking worked. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna have to make part two because I'm on my break and I gotta go back in. Now this first video that we're gonna go over is going to be a creator talking about how she did a love spell that wound up backfiring on a man that she met on the internet on a social media dating app and she liked the man she thought you know he was the bee's knees and she was really impressed by him until one day she decided to go and use the bathroom at his place and started snooping. Y'all know how we do sometimes, all right? And I, I'm guilty of it, okay? Especially in my early 20s, I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty. If I go over to a man's house, yeah, I'm gonna peek around and see because you ain't finna play me. If I see something that looks like even a sniff, a whiff of a woman, I'm out. But this ain't about me. This is about her, all right? Doing this love spell on this man that wound up going wrong. Let's get it. Anyway, I wanted to share a quick little story time because I was watching this girl's video yesterday and she was talking about doing like a like love spell on this guy to try to get him to like her and I kind of did something similar and I hate to say it it's like so embarrassing but I did this like a couple months ago and let me get into it anyway like I said this was a couple months ago so I was talking to this guy right and he was a total package you know at least my total package my definition he was you know black successful uh no kids he was a little older which is like kind of red flags it's like why are you almost 40 and no kids but he had everything else package like total package cute handsome educated smart all the above driven all the above and so you know we start dating we met on hinge by the way we start dating everything's going good and then one day one day i was at his house and i went to the bathroom right and i kind of like peeked in the shower i never like looked in his like bathroom or anything before i usually just like use it get out or like you know 
fix myself, get out. But one day I looked in his bathroom and in the shower I saw like a whole bunch of products. I saw the tree hut scrub like body scrub thing. I saw two different loofahs. I saw like conditioner, but it was like the Mayeli one. That's so I'm like, make it make sense. You feel me? And then also I like looked in his cabinet. I was like trying to be so quiet because like low key his like bathroom door is by the living room. He was sitting in the living room. So I was trying to be so quiet. I was like having the water running and I was like looking through all his shit. Anyway, I was like looking through all his stuff in his cabinet and I seen the care sauce like gold oil. And I'm like, mm, someone cooked here. Like, why does he have all these things? But I forgot to uh, say an important detail about this. Okay, so also this person was like VP or like almost VP of this like really popular cosmetic brand. It's like well known, everybody knows it. He was like VP. Well, he was like director at the time. I'm sure he got promoted by now to VP because he said he was up for promotion. So, you know, kudos to him. Anyway, long story short, we stopped talking. Um... I kind of like crashed out on him. I was like calling him like multiple times. He was like got so mad because I looked through his stuff. I called him multiple times, kind of used a text app number and I'm getting blocked on LinkedIn, a whole nine yards, whatever, whatever. Anyway, into the juicy part about the spill. So I was like so sad. I was like, I lost my future husband. I was like crying, like so dramatic. And I look up on TikTok how to do love spells, right? And it was talking about this one with like you like write the person's name or something in like red ink and then you put their name in like a jar with like water and honey or something like that and like some like little herbs so i was like perfect i'm gonna get this man back we're gonna get married have babies be happy yada 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 mind you i'm like 24 like why am i trying to have a baby you know why am i trying to get married and have a baby like let's let's make it make sense Haley. Anyway, and it was like, I think like get a candle or something too. So I'm like, okay, perfect. I need to like go to this like store. I went to this like little like witchery store in um, South Central LA. And it's like the store that has like all these like oils and like candles and stuff. So I got my little candle. I think it was like a red candle. And I got my little jar. Oh, honey, wrote his name. I was like chanting, like manifesting or whatever, like him to come back. And yeah, and it was like saying like, oh, like leave it in there, leave the like, um, like paper with his name in there, uh, for like three moons or something. It was like something ridiculous. And I did all of it because I was like that, like freaking crazy and like desperate to get this man back that I thought was going to be my future husband. Anyway, long story short, it did not work. And then I was looking at this other TikTok the other day. It was like saying, if you do do these spells, like bad things can happen to you. And I'm thinking maybe that's right because bad things have been happening to me for like over the last couple months ever since I did this thing so that's I'm like I really hope that's not what caused the bad things because like really really bad things happened in my life like family members have died like my mom was really really sick and my life has been terrible for the last couple months after that so I'm like really praying I didn't do that I didn't cause this bad karma and I like will not um partake in like any type of like witchery stuff anymore so that's my little story don't do love spells or they'll come back to you i guess have a nice day gotta go to work my good sis definitely learned that day you do not fuck with love spells all right because a lot of people do not understand and like i said in my part one y'all do not understand how love spells truly work you do not understand what you're truly doing all right i understand we all crave partnership and 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 wanting someone around having a little boo like even if you don't want a, a real relationship we all want to be wanted all right that's just a human desire like that's just a human thing all right it's natural to be wanted in any shape form or capacity it is normal but what's not normal is to sit up here and try to manipulate someone into wanting you if they don't want you all right that's just not good because at the end of the day when that shit backfires it backfires in the fucking worst way and when i say it backfires individually and personally baby that karma is always personal just like hell is personal and, and again that's my personal opinion i believe that when again you are doing work and it backfires it backfires to you personally individually so again if you're using a love spell on someone to manipulate energy best believe when that shit comes back around it's going to hit people places and things that you love all right keep that in mind be careful what you casting out here, all right? But let's get into the next video. Now, as I said in my part one, y'all have to be very careful when you guys are doing these love spells because you do not know who else 
or what else is coming behind that person that you're trying to put a love spell on. You do not know who or what they are protected by or what they got on them. Because at the end of the day, when you do a love spell, a binding spell, obsession spell, anything under the category of a love spell, love work, whatever you want to call it, putting roots on someone, all right? Whatever term you want to put on it, just remember that you are essentially connecting yourself to make yourselves one. You locked in. <laughs> you're locked in. Tight like a booty hole. Like, <laughs> you're not going nowhere, all right? You got to remember that. You are connecting yourself to that person. You are connecting your energies. So what happens to them happens to you, all right? Let's get into this next video of a woman who admitted that a love spell was put on this man, but it wasn't by her. Let me tell you about this time this guy was dating a love spell had got put on him, but not by me. So boom, we live in our best lives. Things are going great. And we had this uh, meeting and she was invited by someone else that we knew. The moment I saw her, it was something in the spirit that did not line up. <laughs> and my spirit felt very uneasy. It's one thing to see people, she looked like oh, an amazing woman, but my spirit don't lie. Couldn't quite put my finger on it, but there, there were some eyeball things but I let them pass but I noted them a week or two later um, I had a dream that she placed a spell on the guy that I was dating he showed me that she put a love spell on him it was wicked it was really wicked yeah gosh you gotta show me proof you gotta show me proof that she really did this me and her had a conversation sometime after that let's say we was talking about apples she changes the conversation and says, hey, have you ever heard of those women that pay $5,000 to put a love spell on a man so he can fall for her? What? So I'm like, no, tell me more. She like, oh, never mind. Um, it's just, it's just some, some silly stuff, you know. Do you think that's desperate if a woman does that? And I'm like, why do these women do that? And you paying $5,000, girl, why do they, what? She like, oh, in hopes that, you know, they get married to a guy and, you know. But anyway, let's go back to talking about apples. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh, God, <laughs> protect us. Say, my husband, I can move on. Some more time went past. And then she showed up in my dream again. And what she tried to do this time was deceive me. She tried to make it seem as if he was a bad person to me and tell me that I deserve something else so I could be blinded to him. And she funnels in with him while I'm looking elsewhere. He fell for it. I'm going to just say that. He fell for the spell. The spell, the $5,000 must have worked because the man started treating me different. He, he wasn't disrespectful, but he started treating me different. And afterwards, I had got proposed to twice by two other guys that, yeah. I gave him a warning. Please be careful to anyone that gives you an over extreme of flattery. It may seem right, but I promise you it's not. But when I first met him, the first thing he told me to do was to always use my intuition. And he even used me in different spaces and settings based upon my intuition. But once you put Poonan in it, somehow they done forgot that you got intuition. And then God showed me in my dream, this man started messing around with little young hood rats. He started messing with younger girls that was younger than me. Didn't even know how to read certain books. And it's Carisha, please. Oh, Lord. I think that just like wrapped it up for me. Then God showed me another dream where she was frustrated because I guess the spell was wearing off because he was messing around. Look, ain't none of my business. <laughs> ain't none of my business. I cut off communication. I have to protect myself. And sir, if you want to be around here messing around with women that's putting love spells on you, then so be it. But I can't be around it because I have too much to lose. Stop doing matches to get a man. How about just work on yourselves? Don't be too worried about a man that you ain't worried about you. Work on yourself. Love y'all. I be trying to tell y'all. I be trying to warn y'all that y'all don't know the first, second, or third thing about doing spell work, let alone spirituality and the spiritual laws that are in play before y'all even think about doing these things. You don't know, man. 
Y'all be stressing me out. When I say like, I'd be ready to pull out my edges watching some of these videos, hearing some of these stories, listening to some of my clients that come to me. I'm just like, what in the, for the love of everything holy and good, why would you do that? But why? I don't, <coughs> I don't get it. As I said before, men do love spells as well. All right. I'm on to y'all. All right. All right. Especially look, and I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to point nobody out. But y'all Caribbean men are dangerous, okay? I'm just gonna say that. Y'all are dangerous. And I've had my experience with a handful of y'all, all right? Cause I do love me a good Caribbean man, but this ain't about me, like I said. I keep <laughs> getting sidetracked, I digress, all right? Y'all men be dangerous too, okay? But y'all like to put love spells on women and just like anybody else, sometimes y'all don't realize what y'all are casting. And then other times you do. All right, this next video, a man put a love spell on a woman and <laughs> I don't think he understood what he was getting himself into. Let's check it out. A lot of people think that only women do witchcrafts or love spells to get the men that they want, but a lot of men do it too. And I found that out because somebody who was close to me told me that they did it. And that was the person that I least expected to do something like that. And the reason why he told me, which I found was so weird why he was even telling me in the first place, was because he wanted to try to prove to me that if he wanted to sleep with me, that he could. Like, he could do a spell to make me sleep with him. And I'm like, no, you can't. You cannot make me do nothing that I don't want to do. And if you do anything or try to do anything to me to make me want to sleep with you, that's witchcraft. That's manipulation. So he was showing me a picture of this girl that he was talking to and was like, you know, she have a boyfriend or whatever, whatever. He said, but if I wanted her to sleep with me, I could. And he was like, if I wanted you to sleep with me, I could. And he starts to explain to me how he would go about doing it. He takes out his wallet <laughs> and he shows me something in his wallet. It's like, I don't know what it was. It looked like some kind of gel paste thing. I don't know what it was. And he told me all he has to do is rub that thing and ask it for what he wants and it will do it. And he starts talking about how he does candle work. He has candles that he lights and he, he would speak into the candles and the candle flame would get bigger and some whatever, 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 some weird shit. And he's like, oh, but this is not evil because I use Bible verses. A lot of witches and warlocks, other people who do voodoo, who they use the Bible to do evil. So then he's like, he could do something to make me dream of him or any girl that he wants to make them dream about him like to plant himself in the dream and he can have sex with the person in in their dream and that will make them want to have sex with him in real life and i'm like what kind of freaky voodoo ass shit is this like why would you even want to do that if you meet somebody and the person does not want to sleep with you why would you go as far as trying to manipulate them spiritually to want to sleep with you what really like threw me off is the fact that he kept saying oh if i wanted to sleep with you i, I could do that to you if i wanted to sleep with you i could do that for him to say that and constantly keep repeating it you cannot be trusted because it's almost like you have it in your mind that you want to sleep with me because i'm not entertaining you in that way you're willing to go as far as putting my name in a candle and speaking to the candle and rubbing your hand on some kind of thing to put to put yourself in my dream to try to manipulate my, my dreams or just manipulate me spiritually to try to get me to sleep with you. and after he tells me this i'm looking at him weird he's like oh don't look at me like that i don't want you to think of me in no kind of way i do think of you in a different type of way now because i never thought that you would be the kind of person to do that. because he doesn't look like the type of person to do that a lot of people wouldn't think that he would do that and that's why as a woman too as a man you have to be careful who you sleep with because you might be sleeping with somebody who might be dibbling and dabbling in some kind of weird spiritual voodoo ritualistic occult kind of thing that you don't know about and now because you sleep with that person you open yourself up to whatever it is that they're doing after that day i never spoke to him again never spoke to him again because that just threw me off completely and i think it was the next day i had a i can't remember if it was a dream or a vision of a black bible with a snake in it and god reminded me of him when i saw that so i don't really know what the significance of that is but i think that was god's way of telling me that he wasn't using the bible for good he think that he is but he was using the bible for evil
but yeah be careful out here because a lot of the times these things are written on people's faces somebody can look very much normal he's a normal looking person very much normal and you don't know what they're doing behind closed doors a lot of people get themselves into some spiritual stuff that they don't even realize that is opening doors to a lot of demonic activity because they're thinking that it's not evil you know because just because you don't call on a demon or you don't call on lucifer that does not mean it's not evil there are different types of evil there are different doors there are different levels so just because it may be level level one does not mean that if you don't get deeper and deeper and deeper you will not get to level five because that's how it starts you open a door but somebody would go and sleep with him and now all of a sudden your whole life falling apart because you sleep with somebody who's basically a warlock because that's what he basically is a male witch there is a reason why i tell you guys whether it's here on YouTube or with you guys privately, when I do my readings with my clients, I tell you over and over and over again, you have to be very careful who you sleep with. And that is in the physical sense and the spiritual sense, because just like in the physical sense, every person that the person you're interested in slept with, you're sleeping with. So that means all of the spiritual things that are attached to those people are eventually going to attach to you when the deed is done. Y'all don't understand that though. Y'all don't get that though. And it shows. Because then y'all sit up here and do things like this. Y'all do love spells. Y'all don't know what is attached to other people. Then you want to know why all of a sudden you be having random headaches. Why you don't feel good when this person comes around. Whenever you think of this person, all of a sudden your stomach start turning. Like, the signs be right there. And y'all just be, oh, well, maybe it was what I ate. Maybe that tuna. Girl, it wasn't a tuna. It was that picklehead boy. But you didn't want to hear that. I'm going to tell you. I ain't going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to let you know. Beyond me. It's beyond me. Story time. So, I had given this girl a couple of tarot readings in the past. And um, she ended up messaging me, asking me to I do love spells. And I was like, No. She was like, oh, why not? And I was like, I don't do love spells. You know, in my personal opinion, that's going against someone's free will. And I'm like, the other person that you're trying to do the spell on. So I don't, I don't tamper in that shit at all. So she was like, oh, okay. So, anywho, she ends up finding some person to do a love spell on the guy she had been dating. And, um... You know, she thought it was a one-sided type of, you know, deal. And she wanted him to commit to her this on the third. So she got this love spell done, right? Gets the love spell done. So she gets the love spell done. And next thing I know, she's messaging me like a month later. And she's like, things are going really good. You know, I just wanted to give you an update. Like I did get that spell work done. It was almost like she was trying to rub it in my face like okay it was weird because I'm like good for you I, I just don't do that and I'm not gonna start because it's working for you right anyways so she's just like yeah this girl's working blah 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 and everything's been so great so then like two weeks go by and she's like can I get a reading and I'm like hmm you know <laughs> I know what you always want reading for, but, you know, the spell works out great. Anyways, so, I'm like, are you sure you want you need a reading? You know, because I'm super honest with my clients. Like, I'm not going to just keep taking your money. Like, you're getting a reading for the same shit over and over. And let me tell you, there's a lot of tarot readers that will just keep taking your money. But I'm just like, girl, are you sure you like, like, come on now. And so she was like, well, you don't think I need one? I'm like, no, I don't. And I just really don't, don't want, even want to tap into the energy. So long story short, she ended up, con ends up contacting me again, um, uh, like a month and a half after that, and telling me how he became extremely obsessive over her. That's what she wanted. And um, to the point where he was stalking her, he started beating her up due to his jealousy. Yeah, 
So be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you guys are doing with these spells. Now I know throughout part one and a few times I've mentioned here in part two that again, manipulating someone's free will is not something that you want to do, all right? And keywords again, manipulating someone's free will. Because you can't truly take away someone's free will because at the end of the day, they still have to choose it, all right? You may be putting something on them, but they still have the option and choice of how they react to it. Keep that in mind. Again, when you're trying to manipulate something, you can only push it, but so far, all right? So this next video that we're gonna get into from a creator that I absolutely adore, all right? I absolutely adore, I've been following her for a long time. Her name is Candy Kane, all right? Absolutely love her. And she was mentioned on uh, part one as well, all right? I'm Look, y'all, I'm working on putting the links and descriptions to everything in the, the videos. That way you guys can keep up with these other creators. Because again, I know y'all love some of these other creators as well. So make sure we're spreading the love and abundance around here, all right? So again, Candy Kane definitely gave a great explanation for this next video. Y'all should definitely pay attention. Take notes if you need to. Listen up few things I want to address about the whole love spell conversation. So they said love spells are so dangerous, you're taking away someone's free will and it will always backfire. I agree, but it's not taking away someone's free will. It really is like super energetic manipulation. So you can still do what you want, but this is going to work really well on somebody who doesn't have that strong sense of self, sense of direction, um, someone who's already easily manipulated will be easily manipulated you know what i mean so it's not that they physically can't get up and walk away they just don't have it in them does that make sense but you can't take away someone's free will they can feel that tug they will always feel it and they can resent you for it now i know that necessarily wasn't a story time about what went wrong but again it's a little spiritual education on the matter because again i, I need y'all to know and educate yourselves better so if you are going to be dabbling and dabbling in we're not even going to promote that. Yeah, you just don't do it. Okay, again, spiritually educate yourself because there's nothing wrong with having an education on the matter. Just don't go touching shit when you don't need to. Because then y'all going to be hitting me up on my Etsy, Thomas some Luna, I need help. Can you do an unbinding? And I'm going to be looking at you crazy through that screen. Okay. But y'all can still message me because maybe I could help you. But if I can't, I might have to pass you off to one of my elders. But <laughs> we could try. We could try. But just don't do it. Some of y'all gonna still do it though. Now this next video is going to be about a woman who is heavily into the church. And that's always the ones that's in the church, all right? Y'all be thinking that just because these people identify as Christians that they don't be into other things. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the fact that y'all make it seem like it's such a bad thing. Well, y'all do it too. But we ain't gonna get into that. <laughs> Again, this next video is about a woman who met her high school sweetheart and wound up falling in love and getting married and having the happy, happy, happy family. The American dream, right? Until it wasn't. One day, her husband wound up losing his job and everything went downhill. So, Daniela is the name of the woman. Daniela decides to go to an old voodoo priestess to get a love spell. Why a love spell when her man lost his job rather than bringing in some prosperity and abundance and, and stronger connection as a, as a unit in a marriage? I don't know why she didn't go that avenue. She decided to go love spell. Again, beyond me, but <laughs> let's get into what happens with Daniela and her situation. Before you cast a love spell on any man or woman, you should listen to this story first. So Daniela and Job were high school sweethearts and are now happily married. They are blessed with two beautiful children. Daniela and Job are big players in their church and are known to be a very successful, happy couple. Job had a very good job working in an automobile company while Daniela was a stay-at-home wife. They were both faithful to each other and seemingly happy until Job lost his job. He became so depressed and a shadow of himself. He would go days without having a bath or leaving their bedroom. Some days he won't even speak to his wife or kids. It was so bad that Daniela didn't even recognize her husband anymore. Now, Daniela was no stranger to witchcraft, even though she was a church-going Christian. In fact, her grandmother was a voodoo priestess before she had passed away. 
Daniela knew her grandmother had some friends who still practiced witchcraft before she passed away, so she went looking for one of them for help. At last, Daniela found an old witch who was her grandmother's friend and she was willing to help her. The witch agreed to help her mix a love spell. She asked Daniela to bring her some of her husband's hair, his earwax, her blood and a mix of herbs. She then mixed them all up, gave the potion to Daniela and she took it back home and mixed it in her husband's food. And for a while, the potion seemed to work. Everything was back to normal. In fact, everything was back to better than normal. Job started going to church again and started looking for a job and then got one. And everything seemed great. As the years went by, Job started to change. He became obsessed with Daniela. To the point where he will lose multiple jobs because he will leave his job at odd hours. Just to go check to be sure that Daniela wasn't cheating on him with another man. He became paranoid and delusional and dangerously jealous even towards his own kids. He didn't want to share Daniela's love and affection with his kids. He also developed a violent temper but through this all he managed to stay madly in love with Daniela. He didn't love his children or any other thing but Daniela. One day a family friend from church, this man Matthew, came by to visit Daniela at her home. On this particular day, Job had left work and went home to do his normal checks on Daniela and he found his married family friend in their living room with Daniela and he flew into a violent rage and without a thought, he proceeded to violently beat Matthew. Daniela started screaming for help because it looked like Job was about to unalive Matthew. While Job was on top of Matthew and throwing punches, he kept on saying, Daniela, this is all for you. I love you. It took several neighbors to break the fight and get Job off Matthew. The police was called in and Job was arrested. Matthew ended up in the hospital with broken ribs and several bruises. Daniela was so terrified she decided to go look for the witch who had mixed the love potion for her. But so much time had passed and the witch had moved away from where she used to live and Daniela had no idea where she moved to. Job has made bail and is out and awaiting his trial. He is still obsessing and stalking Daniela even though she had packed up her kids and moved to a different apartment. Daniela is now afraid for her life and that of her kids and is asking for help on how to break the love potion she casted on Job. Wow, poor Daniela. She desperately wanted her husband back to normal and now she has a disaster on her hands. What advice do you have for Daniela? Do you think she deserves what she's going through now or does she deserve some leniency? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Remember, love spells never happen have a happy ending. This story happened in South Africa, so give it up for South Africa. The only advice that I can give Daniela is the fact that she might have to sit up here and up her protection, baby. Because sometimes when it comes to these spells, there is no undoing them. Yeah, y'all didn't want to hear that, but that's the truth. Sometimes there is no undoing it. Sometimes you have to, again, you just got to up that spiritual protection. You have to do better. You have to do better. And again, you got to know better to do better. So that means, again, educate yourself. Y'all have to really do your research. Like, don't just do your research on how to do it. Do your research on what's going to happen afterwards. What does it look like when someone has put a love spell on me? Because maybe that's what's wrong with you. Somebody put a love spell on you. Or you put one on yourself. Again, there's power in the tongue. There's power in the mind. Y'all have to be very careful. Because sometimes y'all are casting these spells on yourselves. You hear me? Are you listening, babe? Because I'm talking to you. Yeah. Sometimes y'all are doing it to yourselves. Y'all got to be careful. Let me tell you something. Some of these women are so obsessed with a man. They want to put witchcraft on him. They do a love spell. They want him obsessed with them. Right. Once you put that love spell on that man, and now he obsessed with you, guess what? Your ass might end up on a lie. I don't care what. I don't want that motherfucker that bad to walk around here putting witchcraft on somebody to make them want me. If I had to make a motherfucker want me, I don't want them. I don't understand. Who the fuck would even do that? Sometimes y'all be hearing about some of these women getting on a live. I hate to say it. Somebody's going to get mad. Some of that be because they're going to put voodoo on that man. And now he is really obsessed with them. She tired on. She ready for a lecture to be over with now for whatever reason. And now he, now he can't take it. Because he gone crazy literally by her. Because she did it. Man, let me tell you something. It ain't that much love in the fucking world. You got to love yourself first. If I got to put 
And I'm going to tell you ways, too, in my next video, how they put the little stud on the man. Y'all will be surprised what people will do to keep, to keep them a man. Stay tuned. Like I keep stressing my edges out to tell y'all. Y'all got to be careful and stop doing these love spells. Again, y'all are doing these love spells on people that y'all aren't even sure about. You're doing love spells on people that you don't truly know. You may have just started dating this person and you might feel like they are just so awesome. He's got it all. She's got it all. They're the total package for you. And I love that for you. But continue to go through all seasons with that person so you can truly see who that person is to make a sound conscious decision to say, you know what? I want to move forward with this person. But no, y'all just want what y'all want when y'all want it, how y'all want it. And that be y'all fucking problem. I love y'all. Again, your guys, this is going to tell you the truth. I love y'all enough to tell you you're being selfish. And that's what's fucking y'all up. Okay. That's what's fucking y'all up. You want what you want, how you want it, when you want it. And the universe is going to give it to you. <laughs> just not how you thought though. Now, I can't remember if I said this in part one or earlier in this video because I've been recording for a little while now and I've been up very early. But like I said, sometimes when you do a spell, it does not work the first time. And if you knew what you was doing, you would know that. And my great mutual here, all right, because me and my girl locked in over on the tick of the talk, all right, she's going to explain a little more in depth about why sometimes that does not happen. Oh my goodness, I cannot stand when people be like, that spell don't work. It never worked. Spells don't work. I tried it. I tried it. I tried this. Do y'all know spells do not always work the first time? Now, if you knew what you were doing, you would know that. Spells do not always work the first time. Sometimes that picklehead boy that you're trying to, you know, hold hostage, his grandmother can be doing juju protecting him. They, uh, his ancestors can be protecting him from people like you. You might have to go out your way and do extra stuff. If you knew what you were doing, you would have known that. But you're following a, you're following a trend. So, of course, you didn't know that. So. And Monty's absolutely right. You're following a trend. You're going by what's popular on some of these apps. And it's, it's tearing y'all asses up, quite frankly. But it's giving me content. And I'm going to keep making it. So... Continue to do it because, yeah, like I said, y'all are getting spiritually eaten the fuck up. And all I can say is, <laughs> now what did we learn? Because why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do such a thing? Now, this next one, I'm only going to show it to you just to warn you how stupid it is. And I cannot stress enough. Like I'm telling you, when I say I am stressing my edges out over this one, for real? It's the worst one I've seen in a long time when it comes to spells. Because I've been seeing spells since I was a child. All right. I, I am not new to this. I'm true to this. Okay. This is one of the dumbest ones I've seen. But it's one of the oldest ones, honestly, I've seen. And a lot of y'all stupid asses do it. Okay. Again, this is for educational purposes. The next video that I'm going to show you all, do not do it. I repeat, do not do it. Like I said in part one, when it came to Krishan and that little picklehead boy she keep messing with. And yes, I, I took that from Monty. I love that little term. It's funny as hell to me. <laughs> funny as hell to me. Yeah. That little earthworm that she keep trying to make love her so bad. Stay with her so bad. Yeah. We went over why you don't mix blood. Your bodily fluids. And spell work. Instant binding. For the good or for the bad. And usually, say it with me now, it's bad. Easy love spell. Right first, last name, birth date on tap. We're at night on period. Wait two days. Now, like I said, y'all know y'all are not supposed to be touching some of these spells, specifically these love spells. And this next creator is going to kind of chew your ass out about it and tell you why. She's got two great stories, quick but great stories about why you do not touch these love spells. Again, I cannot stress this enough. Find a connection organically. Y'all don't want to manipulate 
someone into wanting you because eventually it's not gonna it's not gonna be pretty if y'all have not figured that out by now it's not gonna be pretty love spells really work yes do i recommend for you to do a love spell no i know some of y'all have probably seen those spells on social media that look super easy and you just really want to try it when you know for a fact that man is not for you and this person has already either verbally or physically expressed to you that they're not interested and you're still choosing to go against their free will. Love spells are typically casted without the other person's knowledge or consent, and you are literally gaining their love with spiritual manipulation. My mom owns a botanica, and she has done this for as long as I can remember, so we know a lot of people who do this type of work. I'm gonna tell you two stories of love spells that have gone wrong. The first story is about a girl that we know that was dating this guy on and off forever, and he kept running back to his ex. Basically, she got scared that he was gonna leave her for real, so she decided to do a love spell on him. And things stayed the same. He kept running back to his ex-girlfriend and messing around with her whenever he had time the only difference was was that he became obsessive and possessive with her to the point that he began stalking and harassing her for like five years mind you this was even after they broke up he would drive by her work and make sure she was there he was weird and he ended up going to jail because he physically assaulted her it's a whole long story this is just a little bit of it story number two this girl that i'm talking about was friends with benefits with this guy and i actually live in a small town so i also knew this guy i went to high school with him and let me describe this guy to you he was super popular, super talkative, he was the life of the party, all the girls wanted him, right? And this girl, who was his friend with benefit, ended up doing a love spell on him. And yes, they officially started dating, he made her his girlfriend, he eventually proposed to her, and they got married. And I'm not even lying when I tell you this, I know these people. He is a complete zombie. And she actually posted their wedding pictures, and while she was over there looking all happy and in love, his eyes looked completely dead. He was literally standing next to her in the picture looking into blank space. And other people who know this couple say the same thing. They say that his spark is just gone. Moral of the story, do love spells work? Yes. But they will backfire because the feelings involved are not genuine or freely given. Can I, you know, make him love me? Are you kidding me? Now, if you came from part one and you watched all of part two now, and you still want to try these spells, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. I really don't. Other than to seek counsel. Go talk to an elder. Go touch grass. Go find yourself. And I don't say that to be malicious. I don't say I don't say that to be nasty. I really do mean that. Go touch grass. Go find yourself. Go heal that inner child that's craving for attention that you're trying to find in someone else. Okay? Go heal. Like, and again, I, I truly mean that. I truly mean that. I do not mean to say that in a condescending tone. Like, I really don't. But you need to heal. All right? So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. All right? I greatly appreciate every last person who has interacted with my posts, who has subscribed, who has pushed this channel. All right? I greatly appreciate y'all. All right? I've been getting some emails from y'all about sponsorships. Like, I, I appreciate it. All right? Anybody who wants to sponsor me, I'm glad to take it all right because this this community ain't stopping all right the spiritual train gonna keep rolling and again you guys this is gonna keep pushing this content i've seen a lot of y'all's comments keep letting them come in all right i do read them and i do respond to most of them all right because i'm busy making content working on the etsy shop y'all know I, I be having my hands on multiple things all right it's just these two hands that run this channel and my business so again i greatly appreciate y'all for being patient i know it took me a few days to get this video out but again i had to go down the rabbit hole i had to get receipts for you all to understand the severity of the situation it gets deep over here baby i can't stress that enough it gets deep all right but i'm gonna hold your hand when i take you down this 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 path all right we're not doing it by ourselves you're not alone all right so continue to interact over here continue to let your girl know how she's doing and what you want to see next all right make sure you interact with the community post as well all right i need this to be a situation where we're talking back all right it's a conversation and i don't want to be talking about myself because we're besties now we're locked in you've been over here to be in the trenches with me and especially my a1 day ones all right because this channel is fairly new i mean i know i started in 2016 but as far as posting consistent content it's fairly new so again this spiritual train ain't stopping are you on board or are you just gonna watch so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because, again, I got private clients to go do readings for. Actually, one that got a love spell because <laughs> she saw my first video. Girl, I'm not trying to put your business out there, so I ain't going to say your name. But I appreciate you because you found me. 
all right so if you guys are looking to find me legitimate me because there's a bunch of fake and scam accounts out there make sure that you are subscribed here to my youtube channel all right make sure you go to my link and follow me on my x account as well as my instagram account all right and do not fall for the fake and scam accounts if you are not interacting with me on etsy or via my business email that is a scammer please block report and delete in that order all right so with that being said i love you guys thank you so much for being here and interacting with the kid but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it on up and get ready for the next video i love you guys so much catch y'all later